fuck this shit, I'm out. Okay, so normally I try to tiptoe around the point I want to complain, but this time I feel I have to be direct with it. Why can't the one skill unit, regardless of whether it being fated one or the destined one, do exactly what it's supposed to represent? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Like, yes, there are the one skill units that essentially represents its ideal, with units like Rosile or to an extent Blangmire, and you have unit that doesn't have anything to do with the deck and has a full focus on the playstyle of the right line like Velstra or Equilibra. But you know what I hate? A unit that's supposed to depict certain keyword of what the unit is representing but does such a piss poor job at it. DISAPPOINTED! It's as if Bushrod don't want to go all then with it. Sure, 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 sure. Bunghole. I'll, I'll say this first. I was slightly disappointed that his protection could have been much stronger. In fact, I thought his device skill was gonna be literally a PG. But alas, he's still good. Nani? But he does heavily rely on the Keter Pao. Why exactly is that? Well, I'm gonna be talking about it right now. As we're starting off with the right lines. And I'll have to say this. This right line is actually really good and one of my favorite parts about Alden because it is literally an upgrade for all version of Alden except for one of them. As we starting off with Knight of Heavenly Soul Tranquilla, the very same Tranquilla that we see with the original Alden right line as well. Where when this unit is wrought upon by Everlast Sky Knight Soldios, look at top 5 card of your deck, choose up to 1 grade 2 or higher card among them, review it, put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. If you did not review a card, energy charge too. Incredible. I personally feel original Tranquilla is already a very solid unit to actually Actually use, but I feel this card has its own use as well as the Disney is able to link into any grade 2 or higher cards aka Tefal or Varasa and Lyo. These two units are essentially some of the most quintessential unit to use in Kita Pao. So the fact that you can literally just fetch it making early game for Alden even better. And if you fail to get it, Energy Charge 2 is actually better than a lot of people think it is, especially considering how much you're gonna be using thanks to one of the main Alden support. But before we talk about that card, let's talk about Sodios as he only have one skill. When run upon by grade 3 card with Alden in his name, just like I said earlier, it can be used by any Alden. So plus one, look at top 5 card of your deck, choose up to one grade 3 or less card among them, call it to your card and shuffle your deck. This is essentially a slight abbreviated version of Orosa and Lyo skill, so this is pretty nice on its own. And I think the best part about this card is that you technically has more target than you think it is, especially considering what the device Alden can actually do. As we move into Destined 1 of Protection Alden. Surprisingly, enough, this unit does have 3 skill, one of which is obviously the divine skill, but I do have to say its most important skill lies within its first skill. When a card would be called by this unit ability to regard a circle with a unit, return the unit that is on that regard circle to hand instead of sending it to drop. Say what? It's amazing! This is the bread and butter of this card skill as this means that as long as you're using any skill that comes from Alden, whether it is his own skill or the skill that was add on to him, he will make sure that whatever you're trying to do will always plus one which is really really good and on top of that, the fact that you can return a Rekka back to hand allow you to reuse on play skill that this deck do have with things like a nap for really really big number, rationale for any and of course, bot extender like Caliber, Topaz, Default, and of course, Borosa and Liar, which essentially allow the deck thinning power to be pretty Spicy. insane. And the rest of Alden's skill kind of help you to enabling that very first and powerful skill. As we have his second skill, when this unit attack, counter blast one, draw a card, choose up to one card from your hand, call it to regard circle, and until end of your opponent next turn, it cannot be retired by your opponent card effects, and it get power plus 10k. I don't like where this is going. I will come back to the Alden protection skill later as I feel the main part about this skill is the fact that Alden will always get a plus one, one from draws and one from his first skill returning a regard that was on the field earlier. Personally for me, I feel this skill doesn't get enough credit more than it has right now because it's really is one of the most important part of Alden's kits as it allow you to have one really really juice up attack at the end of your attack pattern and trust me you're gonna be relying on that juice up attack a lot as especially considering the main weakness of the deck. But before that, we have to talk about, in my opinion, one of the most flexible- Divine skill. 
I have seen among the destined one. Act so last one. Look at top seven cards of your deck. Choose up to two cards from among them. Call them to Rekka Circle, and until the end of your opponent next turn, they cannot be retired by your opponent card effects. Shuffle the deck. Yes, I like that. This is the reason why I said your target score for so your skill is actually wider than you think it is because of the fact that you literally can call out cards like your triggers or PGs to actually be returned it back to hand using the wide skill of Alden. Synergy. This also means that Alden is technically able to play like Tang style where you can commit your hand in the earlier part of the game just to hit the numbers and pushing your opponent damage and then return all of those cards that was called previously by using the wide Alden skill and return them to hand using his very powerful first skill. And most importantly, it is a guarantee plus two in your hand economy, provided you make sure that you call over two different units. And yes, the D1 skill is main phase skill, but I feel it does have its own advantage because you can build your board up first before actually goes into battle phase, which also means you are saving your hand even more. But this unit does have a few clear weakness. It's about damn time. The very first one is in his protection skill. Of course! Only protecting Eureka from being retired only is actually okay in a sense that a lot of the control effect in the game does have retire. But if you start lower your scope and look into competitive side of the game, this is not good. Why? Because there are more than just retire. You have decks that binds like Shoujo Roji or Blanc Meyer. You have decks that do some weird shit of control like Sienna with Bouncing, Shiranui with Dominates, and Barrow Magnus with sending cards from the field into Soul. Surprise, Fuck this shit, I'm out. So essentially, there is a lot more ways to do a control, and Alden being able to protect only one of them is bad. Especially, he is a destined one of protection. Why are you like this? One other big weakness that he does have is the fact that he heavily relies on your rearguard to actually hit a high number for you as Alden himself hits like wet noodle. The very same problem that original Alden has but at least in the original Alden you do have lightly dragon which does kind of play better with the original Alden than the divine version of Alden. So yeah, after all this time this deck still hit like a wet noodle and it protects worse than his senpai, Bastion Accord. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE And to make things worse, this mediocrity does carry over to his support. No God! Among the 5 cards that was released for his support, only 2 Dude, I man. would consider to be decent. Bad Meanwhile, one is teetering on bad and the other two is just terrible. That escalated quickly. So let's start off with the terrible one first, as we have Determine with the Blade of Protection, a unique normal order that Divine Alden do have for his deck. As this card can only be activated when you have Alden Vanguard with Divine Skill and once you play it, you have to choose one of your Vanguard and it gets auto. When this unit attack, counter blast one, choose up to one card from your hand and call it to red card until end of turn. This order, it allow you to extend a attack a little bit further and make sure that you have more or less a guarantee 5 attacks and you literally can just use the Alden first skill to return 2 cards from your field back to hand. Which is nice and all. The problem with this card is why the heck it has to give one more counter blast. Alden is a very counter blast heavy deck already. Why the hell are you giving an essentially a break that costs you more counter blast? Especially if you're trying to run other engine which already require a counter blast and a soul. This card is just not very good and it's it is kind of unfortunate because the first two Destiny 1 order was very solid. Sal Moving on to support that's teetering on bad for Alden, we have Heavily Defense Dragon, Wedge Fluence Dragon. This unit is essentially Divine Skill Booster for Alden specifically, but I have to say it has one of the worst additional skill to give to this group of cards. This is as when this unit boosts grade 3 or greater vanguard with Alden in his name, so charge 1 and this unit get 2k until end of that battle. That's it? Yes, it doesn't need additional cost, but holy shit, just being a 15k that can so charge only if you are boosting the vanguard, this is insulting. For Alden of course. But the 15k boost does help Alden a little bit because of how weak the Vanguard attack already is, making it hit a magic number do wonders. Excellent argument. Like this is not good, but it is not to an extent that you're gonna go like Ugh. Brother Ugh. And finally, time to talk about something that I consider it to be good for Alden. As we have Knight of Skyflow German. <laughs> 
and Disney only have one skill where when Disney intercept, if you have grade 3 or greater rank up with Odin in his name, Disney get additional 20k shield until end of that battle. Hey, that's pretty good. Normally, I wouldn't talk about a special interceptor at all, but the fact that this give Alden additional 20k shield is really, really substantial. There is a reason why Restand counter heal and the crit counter heal has that kind of very specific condition to trigger that additional shield effects. As 25k shield can actually disrupt a lot of opponent game plan, especially when you're trying to guard the Vanguard attack, as that additional 5k is enough to turn a 1 trigger pass into a 2 trigger pass, which is very substantial. The only drawback I have with German kind of highlight the issue with Alden protection skill because I wish if they want to protect the retire, they could have just protect from all type of retiring, including battle. But alas, they decide not to do that. But regardless, German is surprisingly a very useful toolbox for Alden. And then last but not least, the card that I can personally say is really really good, Heavenly Blade of Lyson, Rise Your Nail. This unit only has two skill where when placed on Rekha Circle, EB4 and draw a card. And then when your other unit is placed on Rekha Circle, this unit is on by the ability of your Great 3 or Greater Vanguard with Alden in its name. That place unit get 10k until end of turn. And if your opponent Vanguard is Great 3 or Greater, so Blast 1, choose one of your Rekha and stand it. It was perfect. Perfect. This is a really insanely good card and where most of your soul gonna go to as this literally enable 5 attack while still play into the way that Alden plays. There's nothing much to say about Rysionel aside from the fact that you do want to have her as much as possible as together with Ernak and Alden first skill, you can literally have an Ernak that hits for 45k without considering for personal right boost and boost from your booster. Genuinely disgusting. That that is how ridiculous Alden combo can get when it comes to pushing all the power into that one single column. And Rationel plays a huge part in that. Okay, time to talk about the good and the bad of Alden. So let's get through the good part first because as much as I have been cheating on Alden almost the entire video, what I critique him is technically not bad in itself. His protection skill is decent enough and then if you combo his deck right, this deck also has a really good recovery thanks to Alden's first skill on top of Keter Pao. And then last but not least, this deck is really really good at just juice up one single attack and for most part, this is most likely the attack that will finish your opponent. But every single single good point that I mentioned so far also is the problem with Alden. His protection skill could have covered the much wider range obviously and the deck hits like wet noodle if you're not considering that juice up column. And as much as Keter Pao is a really really good pal to invest, it is far from the easiest to invest because of how expensive each of them is right now in the market. Money, money, money. And that's Destined 1 of Protection, Alden. The deck does see a good amount of improvement, which is something I'm willing to keep a prop for. But at the same time, I do feel it could have been done better. But yeah, that's all I have for today. Take care of yourself. Don't forget to clap that stuff and become a member for some coopers and support me just a little bit more. And this is Mac Mechanic signing out. Yes.